Hey, what if I told you everything you're seeing and hearing right now isn't real? That's right. This entire intro was created using AI. But which platform did I use? Get used to this because AI clones and avatars are going to completely revolutionize the way we create and consume content. In this video, I'm putting these two AI avatar platforms head to head to show you which one is actually worth your time and money. I tested both extensively and what I discovered might surprise you. So let's dive in. All right. First of all, that was not me in the previous clip. That was actually my AI generated avatar. You might think these AI avatars or influencers are a fad, but I could almost guarantee you that they will replace 75% of content creators in the coming years. Imagine you're a company trying to sell your product, but you don't have time to record yourself. That is where AI avatars are going to come in. And get this, for a fraction of the price, you are paying a content creator. With that said, I'm gonna be comparing the top two platforms, Synthesia and HeyGend, so you could stay ahead of the curve and know which platform you should be using. So in this video, we're gonna be going over four different categories that we're gonna judge these platforms on. First of all, we're gonna be going over stock avatars and we're gonna be judging the emotions and the process to actually create an avatar. Second, we're gonna be going over the cloned avatars and how real they actually look. So this is basically the ability to clone yourself and make an AI generated version of yourself. And we're gonna test those out as well as we're going to go over templates and presentations. And we're gonna be judging these on the quality of the output as well as the ease of use to actually edit these templates and presentations. Lastly, we're gonna be going over team collaboration. So how easy it is to actually edit these videos with your team if you have a team of editors to help you do so. All right, so first of all, I'm gonna be comparing Synthesia and HeyGen via their stock avatars. So I'm gonna go through step by step and go through multiple different categories of why you would be using each of these different platforms. But first, let's start off with stock avatars. So essentially, we're gonna come inside of HeyGen and you can see we have our avatars sidebar here and we have a whole bunch of public avatars we could sort through. So there's a total of 123 of them. You could sort between professional and casual. This is pretty cool that they have these like preloaded you know, settings. Let's go ahead and use Arthur here. And this is pretty cool. We have a bunch of different kind of settings that we could actually have him in. We could have a casual side profile. We could have him sitting in front of his desk. Let's go ahead and use this one because this would be good for YouTube videos, kind of like what I film. So let's go ahead and click create. All right, so looks like it actually has our avatar here. And what we could do is we could actually go ahead and choose from different avatars or let's come down to our script. And this is where we're going to type what we want our avatar to say. We're gonna use the exact same script for both HeyGen and our Synthesia avatar in order to compare the two based on their facial expressions, how it sounds, if it actually looks like it's real, all those sort of things. So let's go ahead and come up with a script here and I'm gonna use it in HeyGen to test it out. So we could change the voices. It looks like we could actually add our own voices. That's pretty cool. And we could actually change the emotion of our avatar. So let's use excited and see if it actually sounds excited and if it looks excited based on the motion. All right, so looks like we need to click submit. Resolution, we, we can only go up to 720p with the free plan. So let's go ahead and move forward with this. All right, so inside of Synthesia, let's come over to our avatars and let's go ahead and go through all of these and see which one we actually wanna go ahead and use. There's a bunch of different options here. For this use case, let's use Alex and we can preview this. Hi, I'm Alex and this is my personal avatar that I recorded in my living room. Nice, so let's use this, let's create a new video. Looks like there's a pretty cool editor here so we can change how many different scenes we want and that sort of stuff. But let's just go ahead and type what we want our avatar to say and compare this to HeyGen. So I'm gonna go ahead and type my script here or we could also upload an audio file, which is a pretty cool. Maybe I'll test that later on in this video, but that'll make the voice sound a bit better. It'll match your tone of voice or something or a voiceover of somebody else. So let's just go ahead and type our script here. Great, and then we could change everything if we want to, but I think this looks pretty good. We could add music or we could add multiple scenes. For this, I'm just gonna test this to see what it sounds like compared to HeyGen. Here is our generated avatar via HeyGen. Let's take a look at this and see what it looks like. Hey, this is the test of the HeyGen avatar. How does this look? Does it look like I have emotion? Would you mistake me for a real person? Let me know your thoughts. 
All right, so first of all, it looks okay, but one thing I wanna mention is the lack of emotion here. I said I wanted him to look excited. He does not look or sound excited at all. So that's very interesting. Let's compare this to Synthesia now. Hey, this is a test of the Synthesia avatar. How does this look? Does it look like I have emotion? Would you mistake me for a real person? Let me know your thoughts. All right, so right off the bat, personally, I think the Synthesia one has a lot more emotion. And like you can see the hand movement, it looks pretty good. You can see the face moving a little bit. It just looks all overall a bit more natural. Let's take a listen one more time. Hey, this is a test of the Synthesia avatar. How does this look? Does it look like I have emotion? Would you mistake me for a real person? Let me know your thoughts. Yeah, so I think that one wins for sure. Synthesia was much better here. And the voice also sounds way better than the Hey Gen one. So that was the first test here, the Synthesia stock avatar versus the Hey Gen one. Here is Hey Gen. Hey, this is the test of the Hey Gen avatar. How does this look? Does it look like I have emotion? Would you mistake me for a real person? Let me know your thoughts. And then here is the Synthesia. This is a test of the Synthesia avatar. What do you think about this? Would love to hear your thoughts in the comments. So personally, I think this one still has much more emotional expression and you can just see by the way his head is moving. I think it looks a lot better than the Hey Gen one. Let's do, let's test this out one more time. Let's try to actually make our Hey Gen avatar as excited as possible and see if it could live up to the test. All right, so here is our Hey Gen avatar and I basically told it to be like act excited. Gosh, I am just so excited. I just found out that I won the lottery. I am going to be rich. So it looks good, but again, the emotional expression is just lacking. Let's go over to Synthesia. This one's a bit different. This avatar is actually walking, which is pretty cool that they have you know, a template like this. Let's take a listen. I'm just so excited. I can't believe it, but I won. This is the best thing to ever happen. There we go. So again, I think Synthesia won that one. It looks a bit, of, a little bit more enthusiastic, the facial expressions there, and then also the voice, in my opinion, sounds better. All right, so next thing I'm gonna be comparing, and this is a massive comparison, is the ability to clone yourself. So think of being able to create your own AI clone that makes content for you, like you saw in the beginning of this video. I use one of these platforms to build that. What we wanna do, we wanna come over to avatars, and all we do is click Create Avatar. And as you can see, I already hit my max for my HeyGen account. I need to pay $29 for one more avatar, which is pretty expensive, but luckily I actually already created one. What you need to do is when you create an avatar, you have to upload about a two minute video at least of you talking to the camera and make sure you are not using your hands too much. You wanna use little small hand gestures so it's not overpowering because they're gonna clone the video that you use. So whatever you're doing in that, it's gonna emulate that. I went ahead, already did that here. And what you could do is you could just come and click create video, do avatar video, create landscape, and then click your AI generated clone here. And then just write here in the script what you wanted to say, or you could use the ChatGPT script writer in HeyGen. And I'm gonna test this out on HeyGen. And then also I'm gonna show you the process on Synthesia. So same thing, you basically come over to avatars, you could create your personal avatar and you believe you're watching an AI this will walk you through how to do it. So use a quiet and well lit environment, pause between paragraphs and take a breath, use natural body language, don't cover your face. Basically what you wanna do is you could upload footage. This is the best way I found. So take some high quality video, about a minute to five minutes of video and talk to the camera and just basically upload it. And it will take about a day or so for both these platforms in order to give you your clone, in order to perfect it. And then from there, click a new video and we'll just start from blank here. We then would come up to avatar, click our clone that we have. And then we have the option to either type our script or we could upload an audio file. But for the sake of this, I'm going to just write out the same exact script for both of these. I'm gonna generate both of these and then let's come back to it and test them out all right i created a clone video on both heygen and synthesia first of all let's look at the heygen one and then compare that to synthesia hey guys thanks for tuning in this is brock and this channel is all about ai for non-techies learn how to use ai as a non-technical person by subscribing to the channel all right so there's the heygen generated clone video now let's head over to Synthesia and then compare the two and let's see what you think. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. This is Brock and this channel is all about AI for non-techies. Learn how to use AI as a non-technical person by subscribing to the channel. Honestly, for that one, I think they're both pretty good to be completely honest. 
And if I had to choose, I honestly think I'd might go with Synthesia. I think the voice sounds a little bit better. I think it looks a bit smoother as far as like how my mouth moves and how my body language moves. But let me know in the comments below what you guys think and which one was better. Real quick, if you're not already subscribed, subscribe to the YouTube channel. This channel is AI for non-techies. So if you want to learn all about AI, but aren't a technical person, this channel is perfect for you. So make sure to like the video and subscribe it means a lot. All right, so the next thing we're gonna go over in this video, comparing the two is the use of templates. So templates is really important if you are creating presentations and you don't wanna start from scratch. If you have good templates on your platform, it makes it much easier to create these AI avatar videos, save you a bunch of time, which is obviously the point we're trying to make here with this platform. So let's go ahead and start with this template and see how easy it is to interact with it. We're inside of HeyGen. So it looks like we could just select the avatar we wanna use. For each of these scenes, there is this timeline-based editor where we could see the presentation, we could edit the text here, and then also we have our script here of what our AI avatar and voice is going to say. And then if we come up here, there is a layover with our avatar and we could change how we want it to appear. So we could do full body or something, or we could do circle. We could change how we want this to look. That's cool, let's take a listen to this. Are you wondering how to get your first 100 YouTube subscribers? If you just started a YouTube channel, all right, so we could change this here. We could change the script and we could actually come up to ChatGPT script writer and use this to generate our script that the presentation uses. So let's just change this to make this more professional. Looks like it's using ChatGPT to build this and it actually gave us this new script. Let's apply this and add this to our presentation. You can see we now have a new script here. And then, you know, we could add any text or elements here that we like. You can see we could just drag and drop this or something. So this is pretty cool. Let's add a YouTube one since this is how to get your first 100 YouTube subscribers. Very cool. The problem with this is we cannot see what this looks like until we click submit. And then we could actually see our AI avatar and kind of what exactly our full presentation looks like. So that is one of these problems here. This doesn't look, this, this is definitely not as easy to interact with as Synthesia. So let's go over to Synthesia now. All right, so if we come over to Synthesia, we wanna come over to templates and there are a whole bunch of templates here. Let's go ahead and start with this one. I like the look of this one. And then let's actually create with AI. So first of all, in interacting with this template, we could drag and drop a existing PowerPoint or PDF or text file. And this will then generate a script and a presentation based on that. However, since I actually don't have that, I'm gonna come over here and come to prompt and I'm gonna explain what I want built and it actually build this presentation for me. So. So we could come over and actually change the amount of scenes inside of this. We could change the objective and the audience. So let's say for the audience. All right, there we go. Let's click generate and see what it gives us. It's actually writing out scene for scene all of these scripts and already this user interface is way easier to use than HeyGen. Not only is it writing the scene, you could actually see what our presentation is gonna look like and that is pretty cool. Let's go ahead and click continue in editor. Welcome to our guide on achieving your first one. As you can see, we could edit this scene by scene. This is a bit easier than that timeline that we saw over on HeyGen. I think this is pretty cool. And then obviously we could come and we could change all this. So we could change the text. Maybe we make this text colored red. That's awesome. We could replace our avatar here with any of our avatars. And then let's take a listen to this. Welcome to our guide on achieving your first 100 YouTube subscribers. Building a successful channel starts with understanding your audience and creating engaging content. Let's explore some effective strategies to help you grow your subscriber base. All right, so that is a scene one, then we'll move on to scene two. Let's generate this so we could actually see exactly what this looks like when the full entire presentation is built out so we could see our AI avatar actually speaking to the camera. Here's a look at the HeyGen presentation with our AI avatar included. Welcome to our channel. Today, we will discuss effective strategies to gain your first 100 subscribers on YouTube. If you're just launching your YouTube channel, it can be disheartening to see that subscriber count stuck at zero. But worry not, as we are here to guide you through this journey. One, promote- All right, so first of all, it looks like the voiceover does not match with the layout of the presentation. So essentially, the slides are ahead of the voiceover. So that is, First of all, not a good look for 
Hey Jen here, and honestly, this just does not look nearly as good as our Synthesia one. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you the Synthesia one now. All right, here is our generated presentation from Synthesia. Welcome to our guide on achieving your first 100 YouTube subscribers. Building a successful channel starts with understanding your audience and creating engaging content. Let's explore some effective strategies to help you grow your subscriber base. First, focus on creating high quality content that resonates with your target audience. Consistency is key, so establish a regular posting schedule. This helps viewers know when to expect new videos, increasing the likelihood of them subscribing. Optimize your video titles, descriptions, and tags to improve discoverability. Use relevant keywords that potential subscribers might search for. Engage with your audience by responding to comments and asking for feedback. All right, so I don't need to go through this full entire thing, but honestly, this looks extremely good. And I built this all entirely with AI and it took about like 30 seconds, took maybe four or five minutes for it to generate. I definitely would say Synthesia is better as far as the templates and generating presentations like this. All right, so one feature I wanna discuss that may not seem like the biggest of deals, but I promise it's actually pretty important. And that is the ability to comment on videos that you've actually built inside of the platform. So for instance, you could actually see inside of Synthesia, you could leave a comment. So say if you have a team working on building this content for you, you could automatically like give your thoughts and opinions in order to make your AI avatars much better. So we could go throughout this video because AI clones and avatars are and then we could like leave a comment right here at 16 seconds and say, can you edit this? to change how my eyes look. I don't know, something random. You know, you can say whatever you want. And then now your team can see what your thoughts are on the generated video via Synthesia. And if we go over to HeyGen, we actually do not get this. We actually do not have this feature here. So we are not able to edit. You know, I'm trying to find right here. There's no ability to leave a comment. So our team cannot know what we think about each of these videos. So. This might seem like something that's not a huge deal, but if you are working with teams, which I will be while I'm using these platforms, it's really important. The way we so that way I could actually interact with my team members on the platform and streamline the process. All right, so we went over the four different categories we were comparing HeyGen and Synthesia on. We went over stock avatars, cloned avatars, templates slash presentations, and team collaboration. I'm gonna go over these more in detail in a little bit, but I will say Synthesia did win on every one of these categories. Now that we went over both of these platforms, let's chat about it. So if you can't already tell personally, I prefer Synthesia over HeyGen. To me, it's a no brainer because I think it won on honestly every single one of the categories we went over in this video. One thing that stood out to me is the slideshow and the templates was absolutely phenomenal with Synthesia. It's extremely easy to edit and honestly, the avatars look amazing. And the fact that we could build a full presentation just by typing out what we want with AI blows my mind. Of course, you could still do the same thing with HeyGen, but the quality is just not the same to me. Another thing I want to chat about is the ability to clone yourself and the facial expressions that Synthesia has over HeyGen. So I'll let you decide for yourself which platform you thought had a better clone ability. But personally, I think Synthesia won this one as well. And I think this is maybe the most important part of the platform. Personally, for my use case, I see myself using the clone feature of these platforms almost every single day in the near future. I could actually see this potentially replacing me in some forms of my business when creating content. So honestly, HeyGen was pretty good, but I think Synthesia did have the upper hand in that category. Honestly, I think the thing that this boils down to is Synthesia has a really good ability to express emotion with both your voice in the avatar's facial structure. This is something that was really lacking on HeyGen. If you look back in the video, you could see that the lack of emotion is just very obvious when you're trying to make your avatar sound excited. Little things like moving your hands or moving your head is really important with an AI avatar platform and HeyGen just did not have that. So I don't wanna waste any more time. I think you guys understand which platform I would choose. I would go with Synthesia, but both of these platforms are absolutely awesome and they're only gonna get better as they go on. If you guys wanna sign up with both these platforms, there's a link for both of them in the description. 
That being said, if you guys want more AI content like this, staying ahead of the curve, as a non-technical person, this channel is for you. So make sure you are subscribed and I'll see you guys in the next video.